Chapter 61 Insulting Prayers A number of new prayers and litanies have been added to various church services and rituals of late. The gist of these prayers is that godly people are asked to pray for forgiveness for being law-abiding, for living in good homes, for disliking crime and criminals, and for having moral standards. These prayers are not so much prayers as revolutionary declarations. Religiously, they are an insult to God. Solomon made it clear that there is a difference between the worship of the godly and the worship of the reprobate. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. Proverbs 15.8 Nothing the wicked can do can change that fact. Their religious activities are detested by God. We are plainly told the terms of prayer. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayers shall be abomination. Proverbs 28.9 Today, many churchmen are leading people into lawlessness. They preside in meetings and activities designed to destroy law and order, openly avowing contempt for laws not to their liking and counseling lawless behavior. Instead of teaching the Word of God, they deny it. Instead of proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ, they preach the socialist gospel. In terms of Scripture, the prayers of such men are an abomination to God. As far as the Bible is concerned, there is no question about it. Their prayers are an insult to God and hated by Him. What God thinks of these prayers is no problem. He declared himself a long time ago. The real question is this. Where do we stand? Do we oppose such prayers and activities? And do we do more than that? Do we separate ourselves from ministers and churches which engage in anti-Christian activities? More than that, are our prayers the prayers of the righteous? Do we hear God's law? And do we obey? Too many people today indulge in a cheap righteousness. They figure it makes them a good man if they condemn evil. But righteousness is more than word of mouth. It means believing and obeying. Merely to look at the insulting prayers of the profane clergy and to say, I thank thee, Lord, that I am not as these, is to turn from sinners only to become a Pharisee.